Right, today I'm going to show you how to use the Spot Healing Brush in Photo P. It is super cool, it's going to revolutionise your photograph editing. Um, you really need to learn this one. Okay, in Photo P, I'm going to open up a photograph that I want to edit. So I'm going to click on Open from Computer, find the photograph that I want to edit. There it is. Okay, I took this photograph today. Um, whilst riding my bike with my little boy, you can't see him. He's just up that path there, just behind this bit here. Okay, and I took the photograph because I actually thought that these um, these pylons, um, they looked quite nice the way they were zigzagging across the field. Now that I've looked at the photograph, I've decided that actually, I think the field would look a lot better without those pylons in it. So I'm going to use the spot healing brush to get rid of them, okay? Right, down the side here are all your tools. The one that you're looking for is the spot healing brush tool. It's there, click on it. Then up here, you can make some minor adjustments to what the spot healing brush tool can do. Um, there's a few little options that you can use. For this basic tutorial, you just need to make sure that you have got the size right and you have tinkered with the hardness so I'll explain what those are so at the minute the size is set to 24 pixels and if I drag it onto the page you can see that's very very tiny so I'm going to make that slightly bigger but I don't want to make it too big top tip number one don't make your spot healing brush too big because you will then maybe start to see um, where you have used it so the smaller and intricately you can do it the better then hardness. So hardness means that there will be um, a distinct line between where your spot healing brush has been used and where it's not been used. Whereas if you reduce that down slightly, it adds a bit of a blended effect to the edges, which um, just makes it look a lot more better, a lot more realistic. So I've just dragged it down ever so slightly. I've got my brush to be just wider than the lines and then of these pylons, and then I'm going to drag it on. Now, I'm going to start with, hmm, I might start with the line, so I'm going to drag it, oops, click and drag, and you, it's, a, it's a bit of a delay as, fo as photo appears online, it can sometimes lag, so I'm just going to drag it up so that it completely covers that line, and then when I let go, it will take Photopea a few seconds to think about what to do, but what it's actually doing is looking on either side of where you've put the spot healing brush, and it's going to predict what would have been behind that line. Okay, so it will, it's calibrating that now, it's thinking about it, and it does take a few seconds. Right, there you can see, it's gone, literally gone. How brilliant is that? Have fun! No! I'm now going to have to edit this. I'm going to have to edit it now. I'm going to have to edit it. 